Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to UFC champs Pump Spoke Reporter. Guys, let's get straight into this. You are you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of f***ing you. Uh, Sean, we were talking before about how you have so much respect from your teammates, from peers. You said you've had great interactions with fans pretty much all the time. Um, I did want to ask, you know, you're in Toronto. Welcome. Glad to hear it. it's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the f***ing opposition? Are uh, you? Uh, I don't know how to phrase that. You, I mean, you got to like, did you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say. And, and let me tell you something right now. If a man says he's not going to say, like, if you ask him, oh, f***er, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not going to say that's none of your business. He voted for Biden. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I'd... Oh, look, another, another, this, I'm saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone's... Let me ask well, you something. Are you, are you, are you gay? No, are you, are you, let me know, are you gay? Can I hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking, I'm, this is a part of, are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay. You'd be like, oh, man, you don't you don't want a grandkid. No problem with it. Oh, man. Well, you, dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like and and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts? You asked me some stupid like that. Go fuck yourself. Move the fuck on, man. I didn't really answer the question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that You'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what and they'll, we'll know what they stand for. Are you this still guy's like that. Nah, this Canadian is not that Canadian. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a what a mental fucking illness, and now all of a sudden, people like you have weaselled your way in the world. <laughs> you are you are an infection. Yes. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of you and the best thing is is the world's not buying it the world's not buying your fucking bullshit you're fucking peddling the world is not saying you know what you're right chicks have dicks the world's not saying that world's saying no there are two genders i don't want my kids being taught about you know who they could in school i don't want my kids being taught about you know their sexual preference like dude this guy is the fucking enemy uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy to our world it's that motherfucker right there i like the gays everything i've never you you guys think i've ever shit on a gay man or shit on a gay one i don't i like the gays it's it's a it's it's freedom we still have it in america we'll teach you about it. you guys don't have freedom of speech i'm surprised what i'm saying it's probably gonna get i'm probably gonna get the uh, canadian government to arrest me i don't give a fuck what you want to do in life but don't fucking tell kids about it don't teach that shit in fucking school don't don't fucking push your agenda don't try to fucking brainwash people don't try to go past parents. Don't try to go up past all the shit and brainwash people. So guys, like, if you listen to this, there are some facts to it. The fact that the agenda is wrong. I, I say it's wrong person because it's not healthy. One, I feel those people, people who feel like that, if you listen to them, people who have actually transitioned, most times they feel like I don't fit there. I feel it's more of, they don't, they, they haven't discovered themselves. And if you listen to them, after the transition, they still don't fit. Like they are still feeling weird. They still having kind of oh, people look at me a certain way. But I feel like this guy is maybe insecure about how I look and stuff like that. And I, I would say it, it, it for your transition is not going to fix those insecurities. I don't think it will. I don't think it's going to clarify who you are and to what to propose it. I feel you transitioning is let's say. Because of you have a, a medical issue, I think that's the only reason why you should do it. Because if there's another reason, like it's, it's, I feel everybody have a title to their own reason and opinion. But like, for me, and I'll say majority of people, there's no reason for you to transition. If a man, this, this is the role you are assigned to, you can't just change it. It's not like me saying I'm black and I want to change it from white, like you can't. I don't know why people are pushing the agenda that you can't or you can't. Okay, I tell you what you think about this. Just to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.